my name is Aileen Pires and I'm an astrophysicist and this is why do meteors explode? So sometimes we see the streak of light and then we see an explosion. This is actually fairly common. So what are the forces that are causing that meteor to explode? Let's say that this is Earth, the Earth's surface. And let's say that this is a meteor. And I'll put it in an envelope. It's generally composed of a lot of rock and ices. And it's coming with a lot of speed. This, um, these objects can speed up to up to 50,000 uh, miles an hour. It's fairly, fairly fast. Uh, so it's burning through the friction of the atmosphere. So all the molecules in the air are causing friction against the surface and they're heating up the object. Also, we have this force of resistance. We'll call it air force. And this resistive force is pretty much pushing this layer, this part of the rock. It's not pushing the top ones. So at this point, what is happening is that the force of the air is crushing the actual meteor. So it fragments this and it starts compressing and compressing the rock. So some materials cannot be compressed nearly as much. So it also depends on how much rock and what's the composition of the meteor. So if the force of the air, uh, if the air resistance is way stronger than the actual compressive force of the meteor, is going to crush it to pieces and this is going to explode. And this is when we see this. So it has to be with the resistant force of the atmosphere breaking the meteor into pieces and just collapsing the meteor entirely. And this is why they actually explode. My name is Eileen Pires and I'm an astrophysicist and this is why meteors explode.